day 14 for 28 days. Like, come on. Week number two in the bag here. And uh, we find ourselves in Matthew 14, verse 27. We know this story. And uh, Jesus, you know, they're on the, on the water, in the boat. Jesus creeping up on them. You ever had Jesus creep up on you? You might be like, no, I never had Jesus think up. You know when you're just like living your life and then, oh, there's the Holy Ghost knocking on our heart. And you're like, oh, thought everything was okay. That's Jesus sneaking up on you. You know when you had your own plans and then something pops up in your head. You're like, oh, no, 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 I'm not going to do that. And then you're, you kind of feel the Holy Ghost. And you're like, well, wait, well, wait. God, are you, you talking to me about that? Yeah, that's, that's Jesus sneaking up on you in, in the midst of the storm. And you get a little startled. You're like, ah, I had things figured out. Now you're all sneaking up on me, right? And that's what's happening here. Matthew 14, 27. Jesus spoke to him. Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. Now, you know, there, there, there's, there's something in this statement. Take courage. It's I. Jesus expects Jesus expects to be it to be understood that he's good. And everything he has is good. And if he shows up on the scenes, things are well. Sometimes we can worry well, what will happen if Jesus truly gets to take over. What would happen if the Holy Ghost had your pin number to your debit card? What might you start seeing on your bank account statement? That might, that might worry some folks a little bit. What happens if Jesus gets to get a hold of my Google Calendar or my iCal and he gets to start putting appointments on there? What would happen? What do you think would happen if Jesus could start putting appointments on your calendar? Do you think things might shift a little bit? That is what it means to let Jesus take over your life. And that could worry us a little bit. But Jesus saying, hey... Take courage. Don't be afraid. He's telling us, be brave. The God who sneak it up on us is the God who died on a cross for us. He loves us. Be brave. It is I, the one who loves you. That's what Jesus is telling us today. Be brave. I'm sneaking up on you, but it's all going to be good. Listen today. For that little Holy Ghost knock. That's Jesus sneaking up on you. And it's all going to be okay. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow.